This method can help answer key questions in the field of viral immunology, such as which host factors restrict arbovirus replication, and in turn, which virus encoded immune evasion proteins overcome these host restriction mechanisms. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows one to use simplistic luminescence and fluorescence based assays to define cellular conditions that allow for arboviruses to replicate in an otherwise abortive infection in Lepidopter and insect cells. Because there's minimal background replication of arboviruses in Lepidopter and cells, it becomes relatively straightforward for one to detect conditions that allow for arbovirus replication. To begin, maintain LD652 cells in 10 centimeter tissue culture treated dishes and passage the cells when they reach 80% confluency. Pipette media onto the cell monolayer repeatedly to dislodge the cells. Then, Dilute the sample and growth media to an approximate density of 100,000 cells per milliliter. After this, transfer 1 milliliter of the diluted culture to each well of a 24 well plate. Then, allow the cells to settle for at least 1 hour. Thirty minutes prior to the infection, thaw stocks of VSV luciferase and vaccinia virus on ice. Then, dilute VSV luciferase with and without vaccinia virus into SFM such that an MOI of 10 and 25, respectively, is achieved. Aspirate mature.